Happy October 12th, everyone. I'm Leo Mand. We are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy solved the puzzle of how to enter this enchanted tree. She knocked the correct number of times, which caused the surface of the tree to shimmer and ripple, and then she stepped inside. And that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. You've entered a cavern made of bright and colorful crystals. The moment of beauty passes as you realize the portal behind you has closed and the way forward is perplexing. Begin at the X and navigate around the map. Visit each numbered area along your path. Explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. The X is at the top left. And looks like we're I'm going to exit at 3, so I guess we'll go. We'll just go 1, 2, 4. Uh, 1, 2, 1, 4. I don't know. Let's try 1 first. Area 1. The crystal structures seem to emit their own light, but some sections release disorienting flashes of light that are blinding. Roll d20 plus constitution. We get a 6 plus 2 is 8. That's the worst result. We'd need 5 more points to get a better result, but... I don't think that's going to... Well, we do have a stout seed, and we have Lily. Um, oh, wow. If we, do, <laughs> if we don't do better here, we get a minus one penalty on every other roll on this page. So let's try this. We're going we're gonna to see if Lily and the stout seed can help us. What do we need? We need five more points. That's a lot. Okay, Lily. Um, we can get it with just the stout seed if we were, it's, if, uh, it's a small chance, but a lily would really help. Uh, lily can give us d4 constitution if we get a club or a spade that's greater than four. Here we go, lily. Ah, uh, and it's a face card. So we don't get it, and lily takes a point of damage. She has three health, so she's okay for now. Stout seed. We've got a we've got a 25% chance of the stout seed helping us. I, I don't think that's very good odds. I think we'll just take this minus one penalty. So uh, put this here to try to remind me. We got a minus one. Where should we go? Let's check out area. I'll check out area two. Some crystals possess reflective surfaces. Oh wait, I need to read this. The worst result for this area one. You get sick from the light and must close your eyes to avoid migraines. <laughs> Reduce your health by one. Oh, and take a minus one penalty to further rolls. So Ivy's got a migraine, which is ironic. I had two migraines this week. My own self. So I know how it feels. Ivy, 24 health. Okay, area two. Some crystals possess reflective surfaces that create illusions, making it difficult to distinguish reality from mirage. Roll d20 plus wisdom. So we get a 10. Minus 1 is 9. Plus 2 wisdom is 11. We would need 4 more points if we want a better result. Um, 4. Wisdom. We have a sage leaf and we have tank. Uh, we have, let's see if Tank can help us. If Tank can help us, then we might try our Sage Leaf as well. Tank. Tank needs a spade greater than or equal to four, and we do not get it. So, 50% chance the Sage Leaf can help us, but I'm still not. I don't know, I'll save it for a better, a more sure, uh opportunity later so this is the worst result for area two you cannot distinguish are you kidding me you cannot distinguish between reality and illusion take a minus one penalty to all further rolls on this page i i assume this stacks so now we have minus two uh maybe this is not the place to go exploring but i can't help myself we're gonna try area four you hear a crack and look down at the floor. You are standing atop a large, clear crystal with a chamber below. 
Your weight on this crystal floor is causing it to crack. Roll d20 plus dexterity. <laughs> These rolls. Okay, this die is retired. 6 plus 3 dexterity is 9. Minus 2 is 8. We would need 5 more points. Um, this, should, this should be a danger sense roll, I think. Um, so what did I say? 6 plus 3 dexterity is 9. Minus 2 is 7. Plus danger sense I'm going to give us is 9. We'd still need four more points. Um, we have Disco and a Consumable. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> the floor breaks, and you plummet to a collection of rough crystals below. Uh, reduce your health by one. This is a terrible adventure. <laughs> We're down to 23 health. We've got a, we've got a migraine, and <laughs> we're getting beat up. All right. Um, that was area four. Area six? Sure. As you delve deeper, unstable crystal formations threaten to collapse. You must find a way to reinforce or stabilize them to prevent a catastrophic... Drop, let's try that again. A catastrophic cave-in that could block your path or cause in injury... Well, D20 plus strength. Oh, it's going to retire this die. 13 plus 3 is 16. That's the best result, finally. Oh, wait a minute. Minus 2. Uh, 14. That's still the best result. You hold up the walls of unstable crystals long enough to pass under them into the next area. <laughs> okay, area 5. You notice movement from the corner of your perception. You turn to look, but don't see anything. Staring harder, you notice a living creature made of crystal. Well, d20 plus charisma, 11. Plus 2 charisma, minus 2 is 11. If the result is 13 or less, we have to fight it. Um, if we can get three more points, and this is charisma and bug tamer. Uh, all we have, we have Baron and we have Enid. And they, if they both come through for us, we won't have to fight this. But, uh, let's see. Um, we'll try Enid first. Because she's... Where's... Um, there's Tank. Who did I say? Yeah, Tank will give us... What was the roll? I think it was Charisma, right? Uh, Charisma and Bug Tamer. So Enid and... The Baron. The Baron. Where are you? The Baron. Oh, he can get us two charisma, and Enid would get us two. That's more than enough, but we have to we have to get both of these folks. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw two cards. <laughs> and if they work for both of them in either order, we're good. So we've got the Baron and uh what do we say, Enid? So Enid just needs a heart or a spade. Uh, sorry, a heart or a diamond. Uh, the Baron needs a diamond greater than or equal to three. Oh, we got a diamond. That's That'll work for the Baron. If this is a diamond or a heart, we made it. Oh, so close. Okay. Well, that's... Um, the Baron takes a point of damage. And uh, I think we still have to fight this thing. <laughs> Okay, let's see. It's got... If the result is 13 or less, your presence and movement seem to antagonize the creature. It attacks. Okay, we are... I'm going to use a different die. Where's my old trusty... The one we retired the other day. Here it is. Okay. Um, do we get minus two rolls on all of this as well? Uh, probably. Okay, we're trying to beat his defense of 16. We get a 10 plus 7 attack is 17. Minus 2 is 15. We'd need one more point. We have, well, right, uh, yeah, oops. I'm, did I mess anything up? Because I was on the wrong page here for a while. Here we go, 10 plus 8 attack is 16. Minus 2 is 14. We need two more points to hit, and we have a Radiant Blast. So Ivy's going to use one of her Surges and add a D4 to this roll. If we get a two, we 
me do the math again. <laughs> 10 plus 8 is 18. Minus 2 is 16. Did we not hit? Uh, um, I think we hit him. I don't know why I'm doing the radiant blast. I'm sure I'll discover in replay, but it sure seems like we hit 10 plus 8 is 18. Minus 2 is 16. That's what his defense is, so we hit him. And now we'll roll damage, 2d12 plus 3. We get a 7 plus 3 is 10. It's got 15 health. So uh, can we get 5 more points of damage? We've got a number of pets. And, um, and, and we've got... Uh, Ivy's got her solar flare. Everybody else, everybody else has had a chance to help. We may as well keep trying. Okay, so for damage, we've got Vinny, Brindle, and Kit. And I like this plan of drawing three cards and just seeing if they apply. So we've got a ten of diamonds, a five of hearts, and a nine of spades. Vinny. Uh, Vinny needs a club greater than or equal to 7, so that doesn't help. Um, Kit needs a club greater than or equal to 5, and that does not hit. And who is the other one? Uh, Brindle. Brindle needs a club greater than or equal to 6, so none of these hit. Nobody takes any damage, at least. But Ivy has surges. She can use her solar flare and she can use she can double up on these things so and we wound up not using any surges yet so solar flare d4 so let's see how many d4s we need to roll to get uh five points i'm not subtracting two from from these there's one solar flare three two there's our five we use two solar flares um is that right? Solar flare. Yep. Two surges. Uh, and that is the creature dead. <laughs> the result. Um, okay. And so we don't take any damage. It doesn't get an opportunity to attack. And we kill it before it can do that. And now, I, I don't like this place at all. Area. Is that it? Area three. Here we go. You discover... A long bridge leading to an opening of light. You may stop now or continue to explore before returning here. My advice is do not explore this place. That, that was brutal. Okay, it is Saturday and Sunday, so uh, Ivy, with her headache, <laughs> while we're doing all this, something happens. What happens? We've got four. A giant snail. Two, wearing a sandwich board that reads <laughs> Sunday Lottery. Uh, two, lands in a candle-powered miniature hot air balloon. <laughs> Excellent. And he's got a box with a slot. If you haven't been with us before, I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> but this is the Sunday Lottery. Um, you can play this every Sunday, no matter where you are. That doesn't make any sense to me. So I made these cards of nonsensicalness. And uh, so the snail has a box with a slot in it. We can put two amber in. And when we open it up, there are four. So we gain two amber. We're up to 99 amber. Almost triple digits. Look at that. That's cool. At least we got something out of this place. 99. That, my friends, is October 12th and 13th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>